Hi everybody. I just thought that I'd make a quick video. You know, we live in perilous times and exciting times. You know, I'm so excited right now because I know Jesus is about to come. He's about to gather his people together and pull them out of here. And I am just praying that there will be a, a great outpouring of his spirit and that many will come that the Holy Spirit will draw them in I don't know about you but I have family members and loved ones that I would love to see find Jesus my heart cries out for those people but I want you to know Jesus loves us all and he loves us right where we're at there are so many people preaching right now that we're saved by grace. And yes, we are saved by grace. I am the first one to tell you that any day of the week. And I also know that God is long-suffering. And I know that he draws his people back unto him when they turn around and go the wrong way. But if you think that you can say you're saved and just go your own way and never even try to obey God or to repent from your sins, then you're wrong. I'm sorry. You're wrong. If the Holy Spirit shows you that you are doing something that is wrong and you don't repent of it and you just keep on doing that, sooner or later your heart is going to be hardened and you won't have a conscience any longer. And that's called a reprobate heart. Please. I beg you with all that's in me, take a look at the Word. Get into it. Read it. There is not a place in the Bible that you are going to find where we are saved by grace without repentance and without obedience. It just isn't there. I've read Old New Testament. I've read all through the Bible and everywhere I look, even Jesus said it. Even Jesus said it, go and sin no more. He said, be ye holy even as your Father in heaven is holy, or even as our Father, my Father in heaven is holy. That's what he said. He didn't say, go and do whatever you want to. Go and sin all you want to, and my grace will cover you. My grace is sufficient to cover you of all those sins that you willfully do. No, that's not what he said. Jesus died for our sins yesterday, today, and forever. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. But he knows our hearts. He knows our hearts, and he judges us according to our hearts. If you have any unforgiveness in your life, if you know anyone that you haven't forgiven, by all means, forgive them. Forgive them. If you have anything against your brother, forgive them. Because Jesus said that we will be forgiven as we forgive those that trespass against us. He didn't say we'd be forgiven no matter what. We are, we are going to be judged by the judgment that we judge others with. And we will be forgiven by the forgiveness and mercy that we give others. Don't think that you can go around hating people. Don't think that you can go around judging people. Don't think that you can go around being unforgiving. Don't think you can beat other people over the head. Because that's not the way it's supposed to be. We're supposed to love people right where they're at. Love everyone. I don't care what they're doing. There's not one sin that's any greater than another. I don't care what it is. I don't care whether it's murdering or lying. I don't care what it is. Remember that Jesus loves us right where we are. And that's where we need to stop and say, Jesus, come into my heart. Holy Spirit, fill me up. Help me to walk righteously. Help me to live a holy life set apart unto God. And that's the type of person 
we are supposed to be. We're supposed to be a peculiar people. A peculiar people. I don't guess there's anything more peculiar than having faith without being able to see. Have faith that there is a God. And ask Him to reveal Himself to you, and He will. The Word says that He will reveal Himself to those who diligently seek Him. Ask and ye shall be given. Knock and ye shall find. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. I'm doing good. Anyway, this is my first video of this type. But I just wanted to share what is in my heart. Jesus is coming soon. I mean very soon. We don't have any time to waste. If you're watching this right now, and you haven't asked Jesus into your heart, oh, please do. Please do. He's waiting. He's waiting. And He's watching. He's listening. He sees everything you do. You can't hide from Him. You can't run from Him. He knows all. Our God is omnipotent, omniscient, all-powerful. He is eternal. He says, I am. That's who He is. I am. The Word is grace. And grace is for yesterday, today, and tomorrow. But there is a point where grace will end. When Jesus comes and he pulls his people out of this world, his bride, the people that are the barley harvest, the tender-hearted people, when he comes and pulls them out of this world, that will be the end of the covenant of grace. Grace won't be so easy to be found anymore. God still loves those that get left behind. I'll tell you right now, it won't be easy for them. Don't be one of those. Please don't be one of those. God said that he would that not one should perish. No, not one. I believe with all my heart that he is going to do things that we can't even imagine to pull people in. I believe that there are a lot of people that are still going to be saved before he comes. And I pray that you're one of them. If you haven't asked Jesus into your heart, do it now. Get into his word. Get into the word of God. Read it. Study to show yourself approved. Don't ignore this message. Jesus loves you so much. He died for you. If it would have been just you, he would have died for you alone. His grace is sufficient for you and for all of us. I'm talking to you. Yes, you. You're watching this. And it's you I'm talking to. Jesus loves you. You are so precious to him. He died for you. He suffered for you. God gave his only son for you. That's amazing. Have you ever given up a child? I have. It's the hardest thing that you can do. But God did it for you. Know that he loves you today, and he always will. Call out to him, and he'll answer. Just believe in your heart. Believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that he died and rose from the grave. He died for your sins. And confess. 
that he is Lord and ask him to forgive you of all your sins. Repent. Turn from them. And you will be saved. Then obey. Obey his word. He doesn't expect you to turn over a leaf overnight. Turn a new leaf over overnight. That's not going to happen. That doesn't happen to very many people. It might happen to some people. It didn't happen to me. But believe me. What he started, he will finish. And once you ask him into your heart, he is faithful and just to make you into that diamond that he intends you to be. We're like a lump of coal right now. But he will make us all into diamonds. We are his treasures. He loves us very much. Right now, I know in my heart that God loves us and he is coming very soon. He has been telling me this over and over again. He's also been telling me, don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. I'm coming soon. Don't be afraid. No matter what you see around you, do not fear. For the coming is near. Look up. Your redemption draws nigh. I love you all. God bless you.